Hi, good morning, afternoon, evening, everything. Good, hello, good everything. Okay, let me move the, oh, we want to slide down the avalanche. Let me move these over here where they won't slide. I just got a FedEx delivery because I made an order. I made an order because Blitzy, I don't know if y'all have ever shopped on Blitzy. See, that's upside down, but that says Blitzy. But every once in a while I go to Blitzy, I get an email that says, um, you know, this one said 50% off of one item. So I said, ooh, I'm going to go check that out. So I did. And this is what I have. Let me see. Can I pull my camera? There we go. Maybe that will stay up. Maybe that will stay up there. And then we can see better. -er. Okay. So this, this is a Gemini. I have... I have seen other people have it like forever, but I, this is just a small, oh, this is a nice box. I'll have to save that box for shipping things. Um, I have seen other people with the Gemini and um, this is a small one though. This is just a miniature small one. It doesn't have a big plate in there, nothing. And so, but it was 50% off. I said, yes, I am getting it. And it was free shipping because I ordered X amount of dollars, whatever it was. So, um, okay. The plates are only this big. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me put this whole shooting match down in the store floor. I'm excited. I'm telling you, um, portable multimedia machine for die cutting, embossing, and more. Okay, so you can emboss as well. There is one, two. This is a clear cutting plate. This is a clear cutting plate. This is a magnetic shim. This is a metal cutting plate. And this is a rubber embossing mat. Ooh, all these came with it. Okay, that's happy. That's that says happy all over it. And then voila, let me see if I can get this machine out of its coffin. Ooh. Okay. Even though it's the small one, it's still heavy. Okay, we'll put the box over there. And we'll take off the Ooh. Oh. That's that. The power cord. And then okay, that's that. That's some real heavy styrofoam. I could put poke pins in there. Oh, don't talk myself into using it for something. Um, I need to start throwing things away. Okay, and this your plastic bag. Oh, look how shiny. Shiny. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how it works. But I know I'm going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. Okay, so let me put this because I am, I am a love child from way back, and I love things. Okay, now this is, this is going to plug it in. You know, I think it said somewhere that you could actually use batteries on this. I'm not sure. Oh, what does it say here? DC 12 volt. 1.5 and well, I don't know what all that means. And then what is this? It's got buttons. Okay, so this here first is going to plug it into some electric juicity because apparently you need the electric juicity. Portable. Okay, let's see. A note about in the box, Gemini Go die cutter and embosser, two clear cutting plates, a metal cutting plate, magnetic shim, plastic shim, rubber embossing mat, AC adapter, and a user guide. Yep, all that was in there. A note about pressure. The Gemini Go is very powerful and designed to exert a lot of pressure, pressure which, which allows for cutting very intricate dies. The amount of pressure on the die can be increased or decreased depending on the combination of plates and shims you use. Okay, so, all right, now this, this is going to plug in. I saw the little hole 
it'll go right in here in this doohickey. There we go. That's plugged in. I'm excited. Oh, I am so excited. I don't know about this. I don't know. Maybe there's your third look pretty. Okay. Um. Okay. Now let's see. We're going to sandwich the plates. Okay. I got to plug this in to my El Plugamino over here. El Plugarino Inno. And I got a power strip right here. Um, oh, I'm going to have to, wait a minute, it goes this way, so I have to unplug something. What do I have to unplug? Okay, I'll unplug my phone charger. Okay, there we go, because it's, what is that? Oh my gosh, I just seen a note on my phone just flashed on, and it says right on there that I received a tip from somebody. That can't be. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, I do like it when I get tips, I have to admit, because um, this, just a minute, I'm trying to get this thing plugged in. Getting around to, oh, what is not holding up here? Oh, Elizabeth Marie. See, I have got, okay, I can move this. Oh, my gosh, there comes my hubster with grapes. Oh, I love you. Thank Look at my grapes. Wait a minute. Look at my grapes. My hubster just brought these to me. I was just, I'm getting into my, um, my Gemini. I seen that the, did the FedEx man bring this this morning, Pop? Uh, oh, Tommy must have brought it in. Okay. Thank you, darling. So you're back from Walmart. Good. With grapes. Um, God. It's good. Okay, now I can reach back here and plug in my. Holy smoke, that takes a lot of space. Mm. Okay, I wonder what un what what shuts off if I unplug this. That's that light over there. Maybe I could be all, all right without that light. What is this that it gives me this trouble? Don't give me trouble. Okay, got it. It's plugged in. I'm happy now. I'm now a happy camper. Okay, now I'm camping happy. Okay. To feed a die through the Gemini Go, you must first place, you must first sandwich it in between the included plates and shims. The clear cutting plates, clear clear okay so here we've got two clear cutting plates okay the clear clear cutting plates should always be on top and included plates and shims oh and bottom wait a minute to feed a die through the gemini go you must first sandwich it between the included plates and shims. The clear cutting plate should always be on the top and bottom of the sandwich. These are the only two plates which should ever touch the rollers, with the exception of the combination for 3D embossing folders. See page six. The combination between the cutting plates is flexible. The standard starting combination is as follows. Okay, so we're going to go as follows because we're doing the main thing. So we need one of these clear cutting plates at the top and one at the bottom. Okay, so we're moving on. We're moving right on. Move on down. Move on down the road. Okay, so now I fetched me some paper. I fetched me some paper of just the various colors out of my paper fetching area. Gosh, am I excited. So we need to have like about this big. Let me see if this is correct. Mundo, it's close enough. -o. Yes, that's right. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make the sandwich. And then I, and I got a couple of dies here. Let's see. 
and make sure they'll fit. Okay, this one, we're going to try this one. These Now, these dies are from Ally Express, so, and um, some that I get with Ally Express work really well. Others need a lot of shimming going on in my, because the die cutter, the die thingy that I have is like aged. It's like one of the very first ones that they ever made, Sizzix. Uh, and not complaining, it it works good. It works good, but this here is just um. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. Okay, let me make sure. Let me get my directions completely right. Oh, register your Gemini Go machine. Okay, we'll register. Okay, um, this combination is okay. Clear cutting plate on the top. Material to be cut. Okay, we have to start at the bottom. Plastic shim. Magnetic shim. Okay, where's the magnetic? This was rubber. This is plastic. Oops. Um, this is metal. Magnetic. Okay, so now magnetic shim. Six by three is what the platen size is on here. Okay, so they would like for us to put this now next. We they would they would like for us to do that. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to put that magnetic one there. Okay, so the plastic shim, the magnetic shim, the die with the blade side up. We'll put that right there. And then the material beat to be cut, which is this one right here. Well, well maybe I should go ahead and cut that extra, extra off of there. Okay, now we're going to put this in here. And then the clear cutting mat, see? So that's how this... The uh, cutting plate, that's how it should be. Okay, this combination is suitable for most metal, thin metal dies, thicker metal dies such as Crafter's Companion, multimedia dies, or other brands of deep dish dies will need a different configuration. See page four. Our suggestion is that you always start with this sandwich when using a new style or brand of thin metal die. Then if you require more or less pressure, you can adjust your sandwich accordingly. Accordion. Accordionly. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Now. Let's see. Okay. I got that all in there. Operating your Gemini Go. Note. Main power switch located on back of unit. Okay. Got it on, I think. Yeah. That's on. Okay, now. Power, pause and resume, and reverse. Place the Gemini Go on a dry, level surface. Okay, this seems to be dry and level. And, um, um, oh, it's kind of warm in here. I guess because I'm so excited. Um, connect the power plug. Got that. Press the power button on the top of the machine to turn the unit on. Ooh, look at, see, purple? They just lit up purple. Insert the platform combination into the front of the machine. The motor will start and pull the platforms into the machine. The motor will stop automatically. Oh, automatically. Remove the platform combinations from the back of the machine after the motor stops. To stop the forward motion of the platforms, Press the pause and resume button. I don't know why you want to do that. To resume forward motion, press pause, resume again. To reverse out the platforms, press the reverse button. Okay. When you are finished using your Gemini Go, remember to switch off both the on button and the top of the machine and the power rocker switch at the back of the machine. Okay, we got it.
we got it. We read the instructions and the directions. We're going to put it in here. Feed the machine. You want to save these babies, please, huh? No. Thank you. What you make? Oh, it, is it going in? Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing if this works. It's kind of weeble wobbling, though. I'm not sure if I got things going out right. Um, okay. Okay, it said it's going to shut off by itself. Let me, wait a minute. That cut nothing. That did nothing. Okay. I got the cut side up and okay I'm thinking that maybe I need a shim let me try let me try this plastic shim I guess I should go to the directions but I'm just going what I know from other things shimmy 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 shake shimmy this is pretty so I'm putting this wait a minute okay so I'm gonna put this underneath the magnetic sheet and hopefully 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 i thought it didn't seem very tight now let me check this way if i put that in there Okay, now, ooh, I might have only needed to put in, no, let's see, I might have only needed the metal shim, although this seems to be, why would that want to cut that? Maybe it's just dented. Okay, so I hope I don't wreck stuff. I get too excited and I wreck things. Okay, wait a minute here. I got a poke. I got to get a poke pinner, a pin poker. And let's see how this works. Boy, that is nice. That um. Now, if I decide I like this, I'm going to save up and get the larger economy size, the uh, large size. Um, I think, but see this, I got, I earned the money for this out of my very own PayPal account where I sell my crafts and people are kind enough to buy them for me. I earned my own money. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. And anybody who has bought something from me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I'm thinking this is really stuck in here. So I'm poking, poking the little holes to see if, oh, I don't want to rip it. I don't want to rip it. I might need to wipe this with a, wipe it with a, um, with a dryer sheet to make sure that it that that's so sometimes that keeps it from or putting a little powder or something i don't want to get anything in the mechanism either though that's not supposed to be in there oh this is amazing so this as you can see it's kind of a flourish but it has gears in it Yeah, see, it didn't, there's still some little spots that didn't cut perfectly. I might have should have put it through twice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. 
did it work? Yeah, it's working pretty good, except it's it's giving me a little bit of trouble of some spots and it aren't aren't cutting real. I'm gonna try another another. I'm gonna try another. Let's see, is this the same weight paper? I'm gonna try. See, actually, my magnetic shim is kind of bent right here. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Okay, so I put the plastic. Let me, um, I'm going to try it again. I know some people have these and really, really like them. And so, but most people have a lot more brains than I. I'm sort of harebrained. I wonder if there's a top and a bottom to this. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put, maybe I should try the, um, metal one let's try the metal one instead see what happens this is a metal shim we'll try this one we'll give this one a see how that one goes put that on top of my mountain okay so we'll put the metal shim and not the plastic one and then put the metal magnetic mat and then i'll put my oh wait a minute now i gotta get all my little spots out of here let me just get these out of here. Left behind. I can still use that other. I can still use that other. I can use this one, even though I can't get the things out. Because I might be able to just get my little cuticle scissors and cut those pieces out and get them. And I'll still use these. I'll still use that. I won't let that go to waste. Okay, so now I'm going to put this purple paper on there. And um, did you check the mail, Papa? Uh, no. Because this came FedEx, so this the, was... The uh, thingy was still up. Oh, the flag was still up. Okay, yes. I mailed off prizes today. Some of you have been waiting for your prize prizes. Well, they're mailed. Okay, now let's see how this one works. All right, now that's come through. So let's take a look. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. So it definitely, that's not enough of a shim. This plastic has to be the right shim. And, um, hmm. Okay. Now you all that already have one of these, I'm going to need your um, help in the comments below. <laughs> Give me whatever advice you have. Because I'll take advice as long as it's free. Free advice, I like that. Now, see, that one sounds more like it's cutting. Like it's, you know, we're doing whatever. Oh, you know what? What happens? Oh, that. I was thinking if I could pause it and then let it come back. Okay, now this one cut. Okay, so that's with the plastic, with the plastic um, shim thing. Anyway, it's already getting all bowed. That's what happens to all of mine. But I'll go this way too on it. And, okay, so that's, I like that magnet that holds things still. Now, let me see how it did this time. It might be, see, they make little brushes you can do with this, and I had a brush, but for some reason, using that little brush roller thing, it pulled out all the bristles out of the brush, and so I'm sure that was operator error as well. 
but um so I just continue with my old fashioned way of poking it with a pin or a, um or a, um like a push pin or something okay so that's tucked right in there tightly oh I can get some more of that out of there some of these might be See, I'm hoping that these this will work well enough to where I can make um, door prizes in my videos because in my live videos I start doing a door prize for all my lives if as long as, long as I remember and um, I thought if I could have some dies cut because I got some pretty nice dies. And if I could have an envelope full of dies to give as a prize, as a door prize, that would be cool. And by having this that um, goes automatically, it sure is nice for us old folks that complain about arthritis. And um, there, now that pulled out of there much better. But, but um, let me see if my pieces come out. Well, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I still have pieces that don't want to remove themselves from the building. Some of them do not want to remove themselves. Some of them want to live in the die forever. They say, if, if I can't be part of the direct decoration, I'm going to fight you. So they're fighting me. Okay, now see, it might be that I can go through with this with the um. Mm -hmm. And I do believe it's I, I I just need a little bit of advice because I do know there are a lot of people that really like these. I have heard them. I have heard them singing its praises, and so. And. So I'm not going to diss it. I'm not going to diss it right now. Well, see, now that one is about the same as this one, isn't it? The same pieces don't want to come out. So I am, I'm going to try again, but I'm going to try something a little bit different using the same die. I'm not going to give up. Okay, sweetie pie. Would you give us, us a little stir to what's in the crock pot, please? Would you stir the crock pot? Yeah. We're having sludge for dinner. I only call it sludge. I just When I just throw stuff in the pot and see what happens, it's just sludge. I call it sludge. And, um... Okay. This piece is a little bit heavier. I wonder if that makes a difference. Okay, now we're going to try this again because we do not give up. No, no, we do not give up. Okay, so now. Okay, sludge for dinner. Oops. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put two pieces of paper in here. One kind of working like an extra shim. This is how I do it on my Sizzix. I just put another one on top. Now, I don't know if that's going to work on this the same way. I don't want to get it all jammed in there, and I'm just using a paper shim. I could probably use that metal. And we wait and twiddle our thumbs. Okay, they, they did say there's a way you can stop it and reverse it.
Oh, you know, when I heard that little pop, that might have been the time to hit that reverse button. Okay, let's see. This might... Now, I see through the extra piece that it cut even the extra piece pretty good. So, I wonder if that means that it cut the whole shooting match. Let's check. Let's give that a little look-see. And I'm not going to give up on this thing because I know it's I know it's just going to take a little bit of time for this woman to catch hold of the idea. And because I know I have had other folks. I think it's Stacy's got one and she loves hers. And if Stacy loves it, because she critiques everything, if she loves hers, then I know I'm going to love mine. But I think she's got the regular size. I just got the mini, mini size. And I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if they're different than the big one. I've not seen anybody with the mini one, but. I could afford the mini one, so I got the mini one. Uh, I had to add a little water to that. You added a little water? Yeah, because it was one big. Oh, good. Mess. Okay. Okay. I guess the movies are so all the water. Yeah. yeah, that's why and it needs to be checked, everyone. So thank you for that. Yeah. He had to add some water to our sludge. Okay, let's see. It sure does smell good, though. The house smells very yummy right now. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this out of here gently. See, I got a pretty intricate um, die here as well. So that you got to take that into consideration. Oh, and it's coming out good. But see, I've got two layers of paper on here. So I'll pull them two layers apart. I put two layers in there because sometimes I do this in my Sizzix and putting two layers and then the one cut turns out perfect and the second cut isn't quite as perfect. Okay, so now let's see how these... Okay, which one was the one that was, oh, this one is really not good. So that was same pieces. I'm thinking it might, might be my die. I'm thinking it might be the die. But see how that is? Once I ink this up and maybe put some color in it and stuff, even though it's not coming apart like it should, I'll still use this. I'll still use this and the per and 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 the there see some of it's just needs a little bit of tugging but see that middle piece there that really should it wants to be glued in there it wants to it does not want to leave the building along with Elvis okay now Elvis has left the building okay well, that did a little bit better. I still have some pieces that I will have to nip out with a cuticle scissors, but it did a little bit better. I like that. See, it's um, a flourish, but it's got the dye, the gears in there like steampunk. This would be a really nice one, too, to do all in black or brown, you know, or bronze colors or metallic. Oh, my gosh, metallic, too. And it might and it might be different. Because I'm going to play with this. I'm going to I'm gonna give this a lot of playing. But I'm going to try real quick here. While, I get, while I've got your attention, I'm going to... Okay, uh, while I've got your attention, I'm going to see what do I have here. What do I have? Look at this huge one. This is cool. Look how big that die is. With all wheels and stuff, but now that won't fit in here, so that I have to use on my other one, but um, on my Sizzix one. But let's see, where's my envelope? Where's my? I had some more. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, these are my little gears. I got these from Stacy's store. I've done these before and they turned out perfectly beautiful. And they will fit on here. Yes, they'll fit on there nice. And okay, and then the paper goes on top of the deers. On top of the deers, the darling deers. And darling deers. Let's go ahead and cut out the deers out of this. I guess I need to just use my my cutter and just cut some three by six pieces of paper so I have them ready. Okay. I got a feeling this one will cut good because this one, when I cut these before, they cut good. Perfect time. And that was in the Sizzix, of course, not in this. You got to figure out, I could maybe go in and then back out and, um, oh, I can already see that this one is perfect. Look at this. Look at even the, um, even the negative, even the negative part is awesome. But where, oh. But look at this. Look how perfectly. You can't see that, can you? Look how perfectly that cut. So, and these are just the, um, what do you call? It's their, um, their, begins with an S, silhouettes. And so, a silhouette of the deer. And so, they're, they're not real intricate but look how pretty they cut oh that's nice now that cut nice and i did have my plastic shim under there so here's a little flower it's less intricate it's still intricate but less than this this is real intricate a lot of cuts a lot of work in that so now i'm just going to try the flower and let's try that let's give that a little try and let's see how that goes And, and it looks to me like no trouble. Okay, no trouble with that. Look at that. So, okay, I'm thinking that maybe my trouble is in this die. Um, I have cut this die before on my, on my Sizzix. So I know that it will cut, but I, I think I probably use a lot of shimmage. Because a lot of times if there's just one part of the die that won't cut, like this is the part that's not cutting. So what I would do in like is to put a little shim just that much. So just that much would get a little extra pressure. And so I and I do believe maybe I don't know if it's because of the ones that come from um uh you know from the AliExpress. I wouldn't say that because I've got a lot of dyes from AliExpress and they do work beautifully. This one here, it may be either defective or you just need, but like I say, I have used this one before, so I know it will cut, but I will have to put just a little bit more shim right in that spot that doesn't cut, which is this part right here. And that's the part that's giving me a little trouble. But see this one, when I put two layers of paper in it, it cut much better, but it still has a few spots in there that doesn't want to pull out the 
so so that's it that that is my um i am loving it i'm not sending it back that's for sure and just these you see how well them did and so in the trouble that i had with the other one i'm thinking the trouble is in my die and not in the machine and i do still have to um i still have to there turn it off um read the whole book and and come up with see if there's any other tips and tricks that i need to know and you all if you have one of these and you have it all worked out and it works good i don't know what these are up here well i better not play with them until i read the book but anyhow um yeah i i like it it's small and I can only cut my small dies on it, but it's okay. I've got a lot of small dies. And sometimes I don't need a very big die. So I'm going to package this back up, put all my stuff. I'll have to get a little zipper pouch to put all my things, which I've got little zipper pouches. But yeah, that is, this is great. I'm excited. I'm excited for my new, my new toy. So let me, re let me, um, and I thank you all for this because when you purchase from my store, when you purchase from me and that money goes into my PayPal account, that's my money. It's not our family money. It's not what um, I, I call that my earnings that I can use for, for my, you know, my, my hobby, my addiction, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to read, oh, a little pep talk. I opened this right up to a little pep talk. Repeat after me. I am strong. I am special. I can do anything. Sometimes life throws hurdles in our path, but we just have to keep on going full speed ahead, looking inside ourselves for the courage to leap over them and never look back. You are a strong and remarkable person. You can do anything. May you always believe in yourself. And that was written by Natalie Evans. And that's very good. You are stronger than you know. Um, and let me remind you, if you leave a little comment below, it doesn't have to be much. Just leave a comment, say hello, nothing. You don't have to just put an explanation point, anything. If you leave a comment then I know you watch the video and your name gets put in the bucket for the drawing. The drawing will be when I get to 6 million, no, 6,000 viewers, which I'm getting so close. So be sure and put your little um, comment below so your name gets written in the, in and getting put in the bucket. And I say thank you so much for watching as I, unveiled my beautiful toy and um and god bless you all may he watch over every step you take every move you make may he keep you safe healthy and strong until we meet again on the next video god bless god bless and god bless